Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com here, and after Nicole already did the unboxing of the Resonic ViewPad 7 uh, tablet with Android 2.2, I would like to do a little walkthrough with you guys and show you a little bit about the performance and how you can handle this tablet. Um, this one is running a Qualcomm MS M7227 at 600 MHz, 512 MBs of RAM and 512 MBs flash memory. Therefore, you would really love to upgrade this with a micro SD card and you can use it up to 32 gigabytes because if you want to download some apps, you know, make sure that you have a uh, an additional micro SD card in there. Uh, it has a couple of webcams on the front. There's that's an 0.3 megapixel and a 3 megapixel on the back. So you can even do a kind of FaceTime likeish uh, application, video phoning, whatever thingy. Um, first of all, what you notice, you have different desktops where you can place widgets, applications, and whatever. Um, the screen is pretty responsive. And uh, yeah, it's multi-touch, of course. So let me let me show you a little bit um, about the multi-touch performance. Let's go into the gallery. Okay, hello. And um, I I really like this customized gallery that uh, ViewSonic is using. And you can see how it's interacting with the accelerometer. And for example, if you would like to see, if you quickly would like to see what what's in one of these albums. You can just do it like this, and then it's going to show you all the different pictures in there. And of course, let's take a look at the gallery itself. You see, this is very smooth. And let me show you a little bit pinch to zoom. I know all the guys of you will like this when I'm doing pinch to zoom on pictures like this. So, you know, this works very, very nicely. And yeah, the performance is just great. What you can do, you can run 720p videos. Uh, let's do a little video check. There are a couple of local videos in here. Um, I don't know what this is. That's where I went to pick it up at the ViewSonic office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the call at the ViewSonic office. <laughs> so she did a she did a little um, video recording. That was with the internal camera yeah. here, right? Yeah. How about this one? Is this also yours? Might be. Well, that's when I was at ABC. Dude, they're doing some filming. Oh, yeah. they called it some filming with ABC News. Okay. Look at you! Fantastic! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> okay, so you, you you can definitely tell the performance is not bad. Um, how about the performance on uh, web videos? Let's open a browser, and um, let's take a look at uh, the Netbook News website here. Um, yeah, you can scroll pretty smoothly through the website. That looks good. How about the accelerometer? Zup. That's okay, huh? Let's take a look at your unboxing video. So Nicole did the English unboxing video a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we go. Uh, we're connected over Wi-Fi right now. So how about our double click? There you go. It's zooming in. How about pinch to zoom? That's that's pretty decent for an ARM 11. Mm -hmm. I would say this is, uh, in terms of the, the experience, I'm getting pretty much the fastest tablet that I've ever seen with an ARM 11 processor, even though that this is only running on uh, on 600 megahertz. means uh, ViewSony was definitely working hard on uh, optimizing this. Um, how about a YouTube video? Here we go. Welcome to the world of flash videos, you iPad lovers out there. So this playback is a 480p. So these are this, the high quality format on uh, YouTube. It can do 720p videos. Let's still look. That's a very decent, decent picture, decent performance. And listen to these speakers. This seven-inch tablet comes with a smart pad with a phone. Uh, it's 800 by so I really like it. It, it resolution. It's a good sound. It's loud. It's nifty case. Um, and uh, yeah, no no problems with the quality with the playback quality of YouTube videos. In general, the system feels pretty zippy. I'm I'm quite in, impressed by it. Um, what else do we have? How about some ebook reader stuff? Here we go. 
Oh, you know what? Let me show you the bookshelf. That's the bookshelf. And we have a couple of books here, and you can also download books. So let's go to The Art of War. Classic one. Let's use it like this. And you can just uh, go from one page to the other by swiping it from the right to the left. And when you're double clicking it, you're getting to the next chapter or to the end of the book right now. So yeah, that looks pretty good, even though I'm still not convinced of, of reading books on a backlight LED uh, system. Um, what about some games? Let's go back here. You know what? I, I also like this. This is very fast, what Sonic did over here. So um, let's try Pocket Legends, which is a multiplayer. Oh, I've been discussing. This was, this was running in the background for the whole time. So multitasking definitely works on right here. This is some, yeah, a massive multiplayer online game kind of World of Warcraft. Here we go. Here's my little... What's his name? Osa Freyati? <laughs> Holy moly. So you see, I can walk around here and I could interact with other players and over here you can just... Uh, oops. Okay. Thank you. That's looking pretty decent, huh? I mean, I think there are no frame drops. I can't see any. I think you could even zoom in. Yeah, you can zoom in. Ooh -hoo -hoo. But now you can't see anything anymore. Is this multi-touch? Yeah. Can I zoom out some more? Nope. It works. How about a racing game? Let's take a quick look at a racing game. Raging Thunder. Here we go. It's just loading very fast. Da -da -da. Okay, the mantra for today is don't drink and drive. I'm never drinking before I'm doing videos, I tell you that, guys. Say, when did you have a drink today? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, maybe I did. <laughs> That's good. It's definitely good. Oh, here, look at this boost. So, yeah, performance is really good. Even though I have to admit that uh, on the Arco 7 and 10, it was a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. But, you know, keep in mind, we still have some applications running in the background, right? So, our, this Pocket Legends is still in the background. Um, what else can I, can I show you? Uh, how about surfing the web and going to Google Maps? And uh, trying out some pinch to zoom, right? That makes sense, in my opinion. Um, maps, oops. And then you can also see the keyboard. Right. Google. Yeah, my mail and my and my Gmail chat's also running in the background as well. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have quite some applications mm -hmm. running. But it still looks good. Oh, definitely. I'm very, very impressed yeah. by the performance of it. I mean, considering this is running on a 600 megahertz CPU. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely Android 2.2 helps a lot. Let's share our location, of course. I mean, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, are somewhere in Taipei. Oh, it's pretty accurate, actually. I mean, it's not accurate at all. <laughs> <laughs> actually, guys, it is very accurate. I tell you that. Our, so um, let's zoom out here. Can I do this? So obviously, pinch to zoom isn't working, or to zoom out. Hmm. That's not working at all. But this might be a matter of uh, Google. of Google Maps, right? 
So let's see if we can do the different layers. Uh, not too bad. Here we go. Welcome to Taipei, guys. Yeah, so it's it's rendering pretty fast. Still no pinches. I'm still gonna try it, right? <laughs> but anyways, uh, it looks good. I'm uh, quite impressed with the performance of it. You see, you can scroll around here. So yeah, very interesting. Um, you can easily surf the web. I mean, you saw already um, the performance on our website, so that that's pretty decent. Um, let's talk a little bit about the price. Right now, it's on pre-order for almost six hundred. For six hundred and six hundred dollars. Um, all I can tell you guys: don't pre-order it right now. Wait until it's on stock because the six hundred dollar price point can't be right. During um, during EFA, we were talking about. Three ninety nine. Yeah, four fifty. I've heard. Oh, four fifty. Yeah. Right. So, and and this is actually the market where ViewSonic is going to position um, the ViewPad. Well, here in Taipei, the Galaxy Pad goes for eight thirty, and this is going for five. Okay. So there you yeah, go. It will be way cheaper. It will then. be way cheaper. All right. Um, I love the form factor. I love the performance of it. Even though this is only using an ARM eleven at six hundred megahertz. Um, but there are also some disadvantages I need to point out. First of all, I think the way it feels, it's a little bit sharp on the edges here. Right? So when you're holding it, you can feel it in the palm of your hands, these edges. I don't like that so much. And uh, yeah, it only has 512 MBs of flash memory. So you really need to get an additional 32 or at least 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. And, um, yeah, but that's that's it about um, the disadvantages, in my opinion, after I've been playing around with it for just a few hours. Um, I love the form factor. I think 7-inch is the sweet spot for tablets. Not sure about 800 by 480. Maybe 1024 by 600 you know, is, uh, is the decent resolution. And, of course, we will also see more devices with 800, uh, sorry, with 1024 by 600. But still, I think the ViewSonic ViewPad 7 is a fantastic 7-inch Android tablet. ViewSonic really did some great customization of the GUI and the performance is really pretty good. This is the ViewSonic ViewPad 7. I'm Sascha from NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.